upside. Okay, big move to the upside. And as this big move was happening, retail traders were mostly short. Okay, mostly short. Look at the uh, look at the short column here. Do you see anything here? This is super blue. You know what that means? It's cooled off. That means that the banks are not interested in shorts at all. They've been increasing, increasing, increasing their longs. Look, look, look. What? How's it going, fellow traders? Magic Trader here, and this is your weekly CFTC data analysis for the data that was recorded May 3rd, 2022. Here's a brief snapshot of the positions held by the institutions as of that date. I'll also let you know we're going to be starting a new class, May 16. This is where we're going to analyze uh, a historical chart of the Aussie US dollar, the daily chart. And we're going to take a look at the uh, movements of the banks, how they move price along the charts, the trend lines that they were recognizing, how they use those trend lines, and so much other stuff. So if you've always wanted to learn how we do things, now's your chance to get involved. Class will start May 16 and run throughout uh, the summer until August 8th. All right. Are you ready? I think you are. Here we go. Let's start by taking a look at gold. What did we say they were going to do? Do you remember? If you watched our previous video analysis, you would know very clearly that the banks are taking profits on long positions, okay? And you would uh, also, if you've been following us, you'd be seeing that uh, we placed these arrows right here on the chart uh, several weeks ago because we knew that price was likely, very likely going to drop. Take a look at the chart of uh, gold right now and you'll see that price is making its way down just like that. And why is that? Because the logic behind why price is doing this is because they're taking profits on long positions. When they close long positions, it causes price to drop. You see short positions, are they focused on short positions at this, at this, at this time? Yes, they've been increasing them slightly, but they're more focused on closing long positions. Hence why price is dropping. Okay, so let's go to oil. What do we see with oil? They've been increasing their longs, 411, 413, big jump there, 413 to 419, and short positions are still cooled off. And that came right down here, okay? As you can see, price did increase in value, all right, up to the 110 mark. But just as I mentioned last week, be careful because they are doing some consolidation right here, all right? Why are they consolidating price? Well, we believe price is gonna be going lower over the longer period of time. So as I've mentioned to students, we've gotta be patient because we're dealing with higher time frame charts here. So there's going to be some consolidation and then we're gonna see some moves, okay? So what we can tell is that, you know, since the beginning of the year, they've been reducing their overall long exposure. You see that? And you can also see it through here with the percentage long dropping from 83 to 81. And you can also see it here. Take a look. Okay. You see that net positions, 368 down to 321. Well, that's what I'm talking about. They're offloading long positions. So we'll continue to monitor that one. Uh, dollar, look what they're doing here. Okay. So you see they increased their longs just as we were uh, speaking about over the last several weeks. Again, you must, must, must subscribe to our channel, like our videos because we're giving you, we're, we're basically giving you the moves before they happen. All right. And so take a look now, 49,000 and they get reduced to 46,000. Now, why are they reducing them to 46,000? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you. The odds of a drop, a short-term drop taking place are starting to build, okay? Now we did some analysis for the members uh, earlier this week. And what we are discovering is that, you know, price has removed several areas of institutional supply, which means <coughs> they want to push price even higher, okay? But after they remove, uh, it's institutional areas of supply. Sometimes they consolidate price and then they drop it. Okay, so that might happen. And we're looking at the US CAD, we're looking at the US dollar, Japanese yen, US Swiss, and the Euro. And there are some indications that there could be a potential for a pullback. 
All right. So them taking profits on uh, their uh, long positions here are decent indication that, you know, there there might be uh, this might be the beginning of a little drop to the downside. But longer term, we're still seeing this one head higher. So we will be watching that and we'll, we'll watch to see what happens this coming Friday when the data gets released. So make sure to tune into our next show. All right. Uh, Ozzy, look increasing uh, short positions. We've been talking about this for a while now. They're aggressive with shorts. So why would anybody think that price is going to go up? And the funny thing is, is that if you look at the uh, sentiment, you can clearly see that retail traders are not uh, uh, short. They are long. Okay. It's crazy. I don't know why, but they're always doing the exact opposite. Well, we do know why, because they're being lured into doing the opposite of what the banks are doing. So uh, retail traders are long and and they are always the banks have been always focused on short look at look at the long column do you see any any effort to make any significant moves there yes there's been a slight increase in long positions but look at the aggressiveness of short positions okay all right next us cad here's another one so us cad has been rallying 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 up last week we even mentioned this we pointed out that we're expecting price to continue heading higher. And now if you look at uh, the US CAD chart, you can see a big push to the upside is taking place. All right. So no surprise here. Uh, if we take a look at positions, we can see that they've been slowly adding to their longs, uh, taking profits on some shorts and prices moving. The strength of the dollar is what's facilitating this big move to the upside. And again, you take a look at the uh, rest of traders, they're short. And they've been short since low here on price. Okay. They've been short and adding short and adding short. And this is why I always say that trading ranges don't work. Okay. They work for a short period of time until they don't. When price starts to break out and everybody's going short here, that's when they end up losing money. So you need to know the direction of price. Okay. You need to understand where the banks are taking price so you can trade alongside with them. Uh, U.S. Swiss, big push to the upside. Nothing uh, nothing to see here. It's exactly what we expected. Look at long positions. 14,000, 17,000, 18,000. Nothing to see here. But again, retail traders are mostly short. Why are they doing that to themselves? I have no idea. I guess they just love to be tortured. Uh, Euro, U.S. dollar. Look at that one. Okay, now it's dropped. It's pausing. Remember what I was talking about with the, the U.S. dollar? that we're seeing signs with the other charts that there could be a reversal and therefore the dollar could drop. Well, if the dollar drops, right, Euro is going to rally. We start seeing some uh, uh, more bearishness here. Look at the net positions here. Okay. You see how it's uh, minus 6,378. We're starting to get into more bearish territory. After a long time of being bullish, they had to shift. They had to shift their positions. And now take a look. Okay. Short positions are 214,000, long positions are 208. So could we see a push up in price? Yeah, that's possible. Okay. Again, we're seeing, you know, multiple areas being removed. So the banks are not interested in propelling price up. They're creating supply in this market, but they don't just create supply and create supply and create supply and create supply. They also pause price after creating supply, after dropping price, and then they reverse it back up to those areas of supply. To continue moves to the downside so that's uh very very likely going to uh take place at least the odds are in favor of that and again if we do get a rally up it will be short term longer term we uh, suspect that we're going to see more downside at least that's what all the evidence is pointing towards at this time okay and again retail traders are mostly long why are they doing that you know they got lured in they got lured in Okay, they're looking at other analysis, they're looking at what MSNBC, CNBC, and all the experts are telling them, and they're taking that advice. A pound, look, big drop. Did we know this was coming? Yes, we did. Okay, look at the big increase in short positions. 88, 95, 110. Now they took some profits. Okay, now they're starting to take some profits on their positions. As price is dropping very aggressively, they took profits on some positions, and you can see they the push up uh in price okay uh so what's retail uh, traders doing hmm let me guess yeah that's right they're mostly long of course so 
getting caught on the wrong side. Again, might see another, uh, we might see a pullback on price, but eventually we're going to see it uh, continue to the downside. Uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, big move to the upside. Okay, big move to the upside. And as this big move was happening, retail traders were mostly, mostly short. Okay, mostly short. Look at the uh, look at the short column here. Do you see anything here? This is super blue. You know what that means? It's cooled off. That means that the banks are not interested in shorts at all. They've been increasing, increasing, increasing their longs. Look, look, look. What what could there be? Uh, how could there be any indication that price was going to be dropping? Okay. The only indication that uh, price was dropping was if you were looking at you know um, R size, uh, you know overbought situations and Bollinger Bands being contacted, uh, all that sort of thing. And listening to the so-called experts on television, you might have been lured into getting in short, just like everybody else. But there was no indication that price was going to be dropping. Last but not least, the Kiwi, the beautiful Kiwi. Everybody's long. Everybody's long. And what do we say? Be careful. This is going to run out of steam and it's going to turn over and head lower. And that's exactly what's happening. OK, look. They're focusing on short positions, not long positions. In fact, they just closed off a big chunk of long positions. Okay, and focusing on short positions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it. Thanks for joining me for another one. Make sure again that you like and subscribe to our channel so that when more future analysis comes out where we show you what is happening with price and the markets, you don't get caught on the opposing side. All right. Thanks very much. www.whiteoakfx.com. Thanks. Take care. We'll see you around.